Hello and good evening to all of you. Hello and good evening to all of you. So shall I scroll? Shall I scroll down? Have everybody read up till this? Everybody, shall I scroll down? Okay. Shall I go to the questions now, everybody? Rajiv says yes. What about others? Faruk says hello. Faruk, you are late in the class. We have been we are doing case study today. Okay, somebody is saying just two more minutes. Who is this? I am an Maria is saying this two more minutes. Okay. Okay, I am an. When you are done with that, just let me know. Well, Amin, Amin is saying sorry few words. I need to translate to understand the case. So, what you need to translate, Maria? What you need to translate?
Tell me, I can explain you in easy words, Maria. Tell me which words are creating problems for you. That I'll explain you in easier language. I think easier English language you will understand. Then what is the problem? Tell me. Which word is creating problem for you? Okay. So Prabha is saying, so please, ex please explain the case study. Maria, you want to ask something or shall I proceed? If you are having any problem with the words which you are not able to understand in this, please let me know or else I proceed further. Okay, so let, let's, Prabhaja, let, let's go to the questions first. Let's go to the questions first. Do you able to understand what is what what exactly is being communicated in this particular case study? See, overall, just to give you a brief, because I am also reading this case study with you for the first time. So there is one 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 government department X Y, and uh, they they have been they they have been assigned a certain project for. For, uh, uh, for the obsolete outdated systems they want in place they want to allocate the new computer systems the total budget of that cost is around 2.3 billion but the government has only approved 1.5 million dollar for that so and the department name is XY department now as per the XY department they said that okay we will start the work and we will complete the project up till 1.5 million dollars since they are already short of uh, the final amount is 2.3 but they, they have been allocated by the government 1.5 million dollars so accordingly a project was started and this project was for the implementing of the hardware and the software across 87 sites there are 87 different different locations or at which these hardware and softwares needs to be implemented and the final project date to be completion date is by 30th June 2001 this was projected now a project there is a project steering committee a steering you know what is steering committee steering committee comprises of the stakeholders the senior management people and the IT head this is all the senior members the board of directors they are together forms the steering committee steering committee is comprised of stakeholders board of directors then directors of different portfolio department heads so this is steering committee so now in that steering committee meeting it was being decided that a project steering committee was established with the department chief CEO that is the chief executive officer as the sponsor and the representation by influential managers with different outcome needs to suit, suit their particular work environment. Now since the budget was not budget was not full so they decided that they will not hire a project manager they will have a finance manager who will take the responsibility of the project manager what they do is they have some third party vendor or outsourcing people called good programs a company named good programs is there 
which was contact contracted to supply the software and assist the implementation. That means XY department want to purchase the software from the good programs and then after the software is being installed, they want the they want the implementation and they want the support from good programs, the XY department. Since XY department is already purchasing lot of things from the good departments and XY department is one of the biggest clients in the region for good programs. Then what good programs has done? Good programs know already that XY department was one of its biggest client. So they said that, okay, they will provide the software to the XY department with additional functionality and benefits. So after that, once it is being finalized by the XY department that they will going to purchase the software from the good programs, they, the steering committee again met, met together for the new version of the software to be implemented. Previously when the software was not implemented, there are more, more frequent meetings which has been happening. But once the software is being implemented by the good, good programs, meetings becomes less. Now it's the responsibility of the good programs, their technical people, their, uh, their support guys to come and assist XY department. So, so this was the case. So these new versions were developed after consultation with various in and before it was being implemented and developed new version. It has been communicated internally amongst the XY department managers that whether they are going on the right track or not or not. So all the XY department and steering committee had to do was to identify problems with the software and to make the system testers available for new versions. So what, why X, XY department is being involved? Since the software is being implemented, now it's the responsibility of the X, team of the XY department just as to ensure that whether the whether the software which which uh, this good programs have developed, whether it is as per their requirement, whether they whether it is fulfilling their needs or not. So they carry out the testing. So just to carry out the testing, just to prepare the test cases, user acceptance testing, XY department guys interact with the good program guys. So sometimes after the original project was scoped and commenced, both the original CEO and the financial manager have moved out of the department and new have officers have been appointed. So now the original CEO and the finance manager during the, during their period, uh, during the working period, this project was started. Now since the project is still not completed and they have been moved out of the department. At this time what happens is new CEO has joined and, had, and has been advised that about $1,85,000 more is needed for the project which is not his current budget. So the original product has been signed off. Indeed it is evident that it is not being completed. The new CEO of the department is not sure of the original scope of the project, what aspects have been implemented. I mean he's totally new to the project and since the budget which is more required for the completion of the project is outside his current budget range. Then what happens? And there do not seem to be any reliable reports available as to original scope, scope changes, schedule or budget. So the CEO is concerned that the project has more of a carrier than a project. Now it, since he is a CEO, then total ownership and total responsibility is for the, is on the head of the CEO that he has to get this project completed. So in addition there are some past software problems that are still outstanding. Nevertheless good systems have, in all such cases, good systems have promised since they are their uh, reliable vendors. So they have promised that problems will be fixed in the next version. So this is the case. So let's let's go on to the questions now. Is everybody able to understand the case? What I have communicated till now? Okay, so let's get to the questions now. So you are a senior consultant with PM Right Track. 
a competent project management consulting company. The CEO has called in you for advice. The information is brief, but this is all information that he and the new finance manager are able to provide. So the CEO's mandate to you is report your assessment of the current project status, compare your assessment with sound project management practices, recommend steps to bring the project to a close, recommend improvements to the XY department's future project management practices. If you are a very similar project had to be done again, what attributes and skill set would you require? Would you recommend in selecting a project manager? And what other advice might you give to the CEO? Just think over it, everybody. Okay, Shrikant, hi. We are we are having a case study in today's class. I think you are joining for the first time. So today's class is completely dedicated to the case studies. So we are on the first case as of now. Case already I have discussed since you are late in the class. Now we are discussing the questions related to the case. So you just wait for some time. Then when when we go to the second case, you can catch it. Okay, so just think over it everybody. Just think over it and give your answers to me, one by one. Just, just write down point one. Everybody, I want everybody to participate in this question's answer session. Just write down one in the chat box for question one. Write down two question in the chat box and write your answer for question 2 and similarly for 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, Rajiv says project is in complete stage, is in incomplete stage. There is need of 1,85,000 USD more to complete the project. Okay, good. What about others? I want everybody in the class to write your answers for all the six questions. Whatever thoughts you have, just share your views. I want everybody of you to participate. Rajiv, Prabha, Ayman, Monachin, Sanabar, Sheikh, Ashwin, Nixon, Farooq. I want everybody to participate. The second, compare your assessment, sound project management practices. There is no consistency in the project plan, no project plan, no progress update, no milestone, no key performance indicators, therefore continuity becomes difficult with the new management. That's very good. Very good, Rajiv. What about others in the class? Expecting your answers, everybody. Monachin says project 
needs one lakh eighty-five thousand more, which is not in the current budget. The original project has not been signed off, so it is evident that it has not been completed. Okay, great. You have everybody has to answer all the questions. Mr. Monachin and Raji, just go ahead with the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth questions. Raji, you can go ahead with third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay, Sheikh has written, budget amount is not sufficient, so there is more amount to complete the project as it is under progress. That's okay. Sheikh, just write one or two in front of your answers. So that I am, it is easy, easy for me to understand for which question you are answering. Amya says, this project as per original study budget should cost around it. Now, this the main mistake that no review has been done with government in order to explain the risk of whole system. Okay? Good good to see that you are coming up with different different solutions. Rajiv says re third is recommended steps to bring the project to close, renegotiate with the program to get production in price since lack of fund. Request for more fund for completing the balance work. Keep milestone and project progress update till complete or completion of the project. Very good, Rajiv. That means for question three, you have to request to the government for more fund, and at the same time, you have to negotiate with the good programs for the reduction in price. Very good. Nixon says current project status still in mature condition. It needs more concentra concentration and addition to fulfill the requirement. Was not outlined completely as a result. It needs more time and more to complete the project. Again, Mr. Munachan, there is no proper, proper planning. There is no proper planning, no progress. Update, so it will be difficult for the new management to continue.
that's good value for fourth one recommend improvements to the soil departments for future project management practices so keeping the project in mind first decide an approximate approximate budget for that particular project get it approved from the steering committee that you have uh, that this is that this is your requirement and this much budget you will be requiring for the completion of the project once the amount is being approved by the steering committee get the get the get the poc done from the vendor poc is the proof of concept once you get the poc done from the vendor they will they'll share the prices with you or cost with you and according to that cost chart your plan draw your project charter plan and accordingly move ahead good and accordingly you have to also decide your milestone as well you can call it a milestone or you can call it a work breakdown structure okay so a good question 2 should have proper planning decision consistency need to examine each and every steps for from beginning Okay, 
what are the what are the keywords which you have to remember in while going through this particular case what is the budget allocation then you have to design a project charter plan project charter plan is the plan for your for your project how you will move in in the project then your team members your project member your negotiation with the vendors your technical and functional documentation your work breakdown structure your steering committee meetings your team meetings your milestones your planning for additional resources is required testing and finally the customer satisfaction so these are the keywords which you have to remember okay so finally we can say that this project is fail is a fail not a fail we can say but it's very challenging to get the project completed so if there is a proper planning from the starting if there is a proper budget allocation then i think the project must have gone to the completion so 80% of the projects fail because of because of lack of planning you can say that 80% the project fail because of lack of planning okay clear to everybody shall we move on to the next case now shall i go to the next case okay Okay, just everybody go to go through this case. Mr. Srinath, now you can participate in this case. This is a fresh case. I'm not. If I increase the font size, I mean, you will not able to read it in one in at one side. You have to scroll left, right, left, right, and it will create problems for others also. So I think it's easily visible, not a problem. 
125 is creating a problem. That's why I have decreased it to 120. See, next one is saying it's okay. Just try to concentrate it. You will be able to read it easily. Not an issue. Just try it. If it still creates a problem, then share your email ID with me. I'll email you. Okay, are you all done with it? Shall I move to the questions now? Prabha says yes. Shinath says yes. What about others? Rajiv says yes. What about Ayman, Monachan, Sanubar? Joy. Nixon says yes. What about others? Okay, now I'm now I'm moving ahead to the questions. So, okay. Okay, let's see the first question now. After reading this case, what would you do if you are if you are Mr. A? What would you do if uh, if you are Mr. A? Tell me everybody. Just write down in the chat box. The case is in front of you. Now what does this case say? That there is an XYZ company. It's a, it's a, it's a manufacturing company in India. And it has a good track record of marketing services and refurbishing. Now since you are a talented graduate from an from an engineering college, this company selects, hires you from the engineering college to campus interview. And they have, they have get the bond signed with you. After getting the bond signed, you are in a state of mind that you will get good money, money and status. After joining the company, as for the bonds, you are required to do work on nothing but recycling of old machines from opening packages, dismantling, washing them in kerosene, etc. This is a mismatch to your core competence. I mean whatever promise has been made during the campus interview is not being fulfilled. So you, it has been, it's basically a mismatch as per the competence you have, you have not been offered the job of that particular kind. So one, one day during a break time, you meet some another person, Mr. B who is a postgraduate. You are a graduate and he is a postgraduate in technology. So what happens when you join and that particular Mr. B has joined the same day. At some tea break, Mr. B comes to meet you to say goodbye to you because he has resigned. Why he has resigned? Because he, he, he has not, he finds that he is not suited for this kind of job. He is, he is not suited for the type of role which is being offered by the company. So in that situation what you will do, either you go to your top boss and discuss discuss your problems 
or you keep quiet and wait till your bonds get over and then you will resign and join some new job or you will start searching for a better opportunity this time to get in depth information breaking the bond and resign these are the three situations in front of you now suppose if you are mr a what you will do that is the first question okay rajiv says i will discuss with hrd and explain the gap between the promise and the actual situation uh, rajiv that is okay but suppose suppose i i am the hrd and we have a discussion say one year back now i have not given you in writing somewhere that this is a promise i have made i have made suppose i i i come and say to you there is no such kind of promise i have made what you will do then what you will do then suppose if i if i come and say to you i have not made any kind of promise that because in a, in an offer letter it is it is nothing they written somewhere that you have you will be given this and this job specifically this and this you are a fresher and you have been hired as an engineer that's all i want to come up with a smart answer don't write such kind of answers i will try to manage this situation no come up with some smart answer in this case i will see the boss to know is boss to know is forecasting plan as long as our career is concerned if his plan does not suits to our expectations to excel our career and if not i will decide to with the agreement okay see one one most easy thing which you can do here is you can go to your boss and just request him that after passing some days say after passing four months six months down the line you go to your boss and say boss i i find myself that i have uh, i have uh, done my best in this particular portfolio now since i i want that some next portfolio or some new job role must be given to me because i am a keen learner i am a fresher i am a i am a younger chap i want to switch to some new role so it's my request that if there is any vacant position there just put me into that role this is one of the way because in most organizations rotational policy is there lot of people keep on changing their organization keep on switching job so once the place gets vacant there you will fit in this is one thing which you can do is second thing if you are facing lot and lot of problems with the portfolio which is being handed over to you you can break the bond and resign from the job but you can only think of that option once you have another job in hand unless and until you have a no new job in hand it will be difficult for you to resign from the first job so that is again one of the major concerns third concern is yes i think discussing with the boss and discussing with the management that will be a good option so this is one of the good option which to discuss with the boss okay now again going back to the second question suppose if you are the managing director of xyz limited how would you have handled this situation this is your second question if you are the managing director of the xyz limited and such kind of problems comes to you what you will do in that case Just come up with the answer, sir, everybody.
No, that is one of the good options, Rajiv, that you can best utilize your resources by putting them in suitable position. But if you are talking in, in respect to this particular case right now, I mean, Mr. A has been promised for certain things, but he has been allocated some job which is not matching his profile. In this case, what will you do as a managing director? That is the challenge. You have given the general answer that you can best utilize your resources by putting the people in suitable position. That is the general answer. But in this particular case, how you will do? What you will do? Okay, good. Good next one. See, what, there are two, three things you can do here in this case. One, you can you can ask the you can ask Mr. Ray to keep on working in this particular profile and simultaneously also providing some trainings to the chap. Uh, some providing some trainings to Mr. Ray that once your training is being completed and the another post is vacant, we can move you to that particular post. That is one thing you have. One is you keep on hiring freshers, you put them into that particular profile and moving, once you have recruitment every year, you keep on moving from that particular state to next particular portfolio or next particular job profile. This is one way you can handle by simultaneous, you can also how you can engage the people in that kind of job by simultaneously providing some new trainings to them also that okay this is your training period if you do good in the training and good in the exist present jobs profile we can move you to the next job profile this is one way of motivating motivation you can do number two you can you can give them the option that if you do good in this particular profile, we can increase your salary and we can give you good benefits. This is one of the way you can also motivate the employees. Proper planning that's timely completed. No Prabha, I am expecting more smart answers. This is not the one which you have written. That is the general statement which you have given. In my knowledge, I think these are the two, two things which we can do. We should have a rotational policy. We can keep on hiring new freshers and then every year and after hiring the new fresher, we can put them into the existing job and move Mr. A from there and move it to some new profile and simultaneously also groom them. Second option is we can also increase salary. This is one thing also we can do. So in this way we are we are improving employee skills also as well as we are also getting the job done from them. So these are the two things which can we can do as a managing director. Okay, clear to all? Okay. So I think uh, this is all for the day. I think uh, we have only two we have two more PPTs. But we are run out of time. We are we have only one minute fifty seconds left. So thank you all for your time. Hope you have everybody have you have enjoyed today's class. So in the next class also we'll be doing we'll try to do the case study only. Whatever two case study that is being left today, we'll try to complete that in the next class. Okay? So thank you all for your time. Just do give your feedbacks after the class. Thank you all. Take care, bye-bye. If you have any questions to ask, just ask me. Any questions, any doubts, anybody want to clarify anything, just go ahead and ask me. Rajiv Prabha, Ayman, Sanubar, Nixon, Paruk, Shina, Joy, Ashwin. Any questions, any doubts, any clarifications, just go ahead. No questions. Okay. Okay. Thank you all for your time. Just take care. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye. Okay, I'll try that, Prabha. I'll try to send the case study before.
थैंक यू ऑल जस्ट डू गिव योर फीडबैक बाय